Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to put whole numbers into expanded form. Now when it comes to expanded form, we take numbers and expand them out to show the value of each digit. Expanded form really helps our overall number sense and understanding of numbers. So we have three examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. I have a place value chart at the top of the screen. We're going to use that for number one. And a place value chart can be very helpful when first starting out or if you're not really understanding. It helps break the numbers down and see exactly where each digit is. But your ultimate goal is to be able to do expanded form uh, without a place value chart. So let's jump into number one where we have 576,000. 901 and I'm going to write it up here in our chart so we have 500 or I'm sorry 576,901 and we have a comma right here now before we put that into expanded form I want to mention that the sections the ones thousands millions billions those go on forever uh, we just go up to the billions in this video so those sections separated by commas are called periods all right, so let's put number one into expanded form. And we're going to start with the greatest valued digit. So the digit furthest to the left, this five. So we need to think, how much is that five worth? What's the value of that five? And it is worth 500,000. So that's what we start with. The value of the five is 500,000. And then we just work our way to the right. So plus, we need the value of the seven. So that's in the 10 thousands place, so it has a value of 70,000. Plus our six here is in the thousands place, so it has a value of 6,000. Plus a nine that's in the hundreds place, so it has a value of 900. We then have a zero in the tens place. We don't need to represent that zero, within our expanded form. So we would go to the next digit, which is a one in the ones place. So it has a value of one. And now we have number one uh, put into expanded form. We showed the value of each digit. So on to number two here, where we have 63,085,004. We need to start with the greatest valued digit. So the furthest to the left, and it's this six. So it's in the 10 millions place. So it has a value of 60 million. Now with some of these larger numbers in value, you have to be very careful with your zeros. Um, so for example, I would be incorrect there because that's only 60,000. We need three more zeros. Plus, this three has a value of three million because it's in the millions place. Plus, we have a zero, so we can move to the eight here, which has a value of 80,000 because it's in the 10 thousands place. Plus, a five in the thousands place, so 5,000. Plus, we have a zero in the hundreds, zero in the tens, so our next digit here is that four, so a four in the ones has a value of four. And there you have it for number two, so we have the value of each digit expanded out. So on to number three here, where we have 2,072,080,000. And we'll start with the two, which has a value of two billion. So with these, again, with these larger numbers in value, we have to be very careful with our zeros and that we have the correct value represented. So for example, I only have 2 million there, so we need three more zeros, so it equals 2 billion. We have a zero in the 100 million, so we can go to the 10 millions where we have a seven worth 70 million. plus two million here, a two in the millions place, plus a zero in the hundred thousands, so we can go to the eight, which is in the 10 thousands and has a value of 80,000. 
and we have all zeros remaining here. So we have all of those digits expanded out to show the value of each. So there you have it. There's how you put whole numbers into expanded form. Show the value of each digit, and there you go. You have the correct answer as far as expressing a number in expanded form. Now I do want to mention that there is another way to express numbers in expanded form that involves using parentheses. I have a separate video that goes through how to do that. I drop that link down in the description. So as far as this video goes, I hope this helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.